and Darren personified that to the, to the T. Darren Dalton, gone way too soon at the age of 55. Well, guys, Dalton is survived by his parents, wife, and four children. And that comment there where he said, Darren wouldn't let us fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to Mil well, I mean, that's just, that's tremendous. Oh, no doubt about it. That's a legacy. No legacy. doubt about it. Between yeah. the players and Dave Montgomery, they, they said it all right then and there. Yeah. He was always there for us, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. I remember it well. Yeah. Right on, fight on. Indeed, <clears throat> he certainly did. Reaction is pouring in from Dalton's former teammates again. Mitch Williams says, he was our rock, our leader in that clubhouse of guys in 1993. The only comfort I feel today is that Fregosi and Vukas and Jim Fregosi and John Vukovic will be waiting for you at the gates of heaven with a cold beer ready. Harry and Whitey will have the call. Look who it is coming to the gate. The captain, number 10, Darren Dutch Dalton. Lenny Dykstra shared his thoughts as well, saying the Philadelphia Phillies family and the world of baseball have lost a warrior. I played with several tough dudes in my career, but Dutch was the toughest. He was the unquestionable leader of our magical 1993 Phillies team that went from last to first, thereby energizing the city of Philadelphia. And fans are expressing their sadness as well today. Many say Dutch made a lasting impression on Philadelphia. He, he was an inspiration. Uh, he was a great leader for the Phillies uh, back in the, back in the early uh, 90s. And uh, when they uh, went all the way to the World Series, he was like the catalyst for the team. You know, and I wish his, his family the best through their time that they're going through. I just lost my dad a couple of weeks ago, so. I know it's a difficult time, but Dutch is definitely going to be missed in Philly. Other fans shared their thoughts on Facebook. Sharon Wiseman writes, this is the saddest post I've read in a while. He was legit, a fabulous guy and player. He was the reason many young girls started watching baseball with their dads and brothers. Number 10, thanks for the memories. May you rest in peace. David Marcosi had this to say on Facebook. See you on the other side, Dutch. Betting the team up there could use a good catcher. Our coverage of Darren Dalton's death continues at 530. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl will tell us more about the brain cancer that took his life, and she'll remember other Phillies who've also lost their lives to cancer.